Hey guys, and welcome back to Gomen Arts. I'm Joe Barlow, and in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create some cool light leaks all from within After Effects. But first, run titles. <laughs> So here we go. First, go ahead and open up After Effects and create a new composition. As you can see, I've already got mine set up. So once this is done, you wanna create a new solid by going to Layer, New, Add New Solid, and then we can leave the settings as they are, but I would advise naming this something along the lines of Light. When you have this set up, go over to your Effects and Presets panel and search for Fractal Noise. Drop that onto the solid you've just created and you should have something that looks like this. Now we've got this, we wanna go ahead and change some of the settings. So, first, change the noise type to spline. Then head down to the contrast and bring that up to about 250. Once that's done, move on to the brightness and turn it down slightly, somewhere around minus 70. Then you wanna go over to your complexity and bring this all the way down to one. Now what we have at this point is some nice, smooth looking patterns, and if we give this a quick playthrough, you'll see it, nothing happens. To give this a free flow movement, what we want to do is go over to the evolution options. Now, instead of animating this with keyframes, I'm going to go ahead and use some super simple script. But first, we need to access the scripting area of evolutions. So to do that, hold down Alt on your keyboard and click the keyframe stopwatch. You should notice a small area pop up on your timeline. In here, we're going to go ahead and type time times 300. And what this will do is rotate your evolutions 300 times a second forever. Now if we go ahead and watch this again, you'll see this time it has a nice organic movement. Now there's one thing we're still missing here and that's color. To do this, what we're gonna do is create a new solid. So once again, go over and create a new layer and make that a new solid. And for this, we're gonna call it color. Now we could go ahead and change the color of the layer at this point, but we're gonna do things slightly different. So create this solid and then go over to your effects and presets and type in fill. Drop that onto your new layer and in the effects options, use the color select to find the tone you want. Now depending on the feel or what footage you're using, you might want a different color. I'm gonna be using a nice pale blue for this example, so let's go ahead and find that. And once we've got what we want, press OK. Now for the final part. First, we wanna make sure the color layer is below the light layer. Once that's in the right order, go ahead and go to the track mat options and change the color layer to Luma Matte. And what that should have done is given your light leak its color. If you can't find your track mat options, you can turn them on down here. Now, the reason I added a fill earlier instead of changing the layer colors is it's slightly easier to change the color on that than it is to go through the layer options if I choose to create a second light leak, which is what I'm gonna do. So select all your layers by pressing Ctrl or Command A on your keyboard and duplicate them by pressing Ctrl or Command D. You will notice at this point that the movement is identical to the first layer. Now to adjust this, all we need to do is open up the evolution options and add any random value to the random seed area. This gives us a different animation for this layer. Then adjust the color of the color layer to a second color that you want. Now that this is all done, we can pre-comp each individual light leak and drop it onto some footage. Once you've dropped your light leaks on top of your footage, all you need to do is change the blending mode to add and also scale the light leak up just to get that look you're after. I've gone ahead and dropped my light leak on this great picture taken by Philip Hensler. You can find this on Upsplash, link in the description. It's a great website for absolutely beautiful pictures. With this one, I've added a nice slow zoom. And with that light leak, you can see it just adds a little bit of extra detail to the scene. So be sure to give this a go. It's an extremely adjustable effect and gives a nice artistic look to any picture or footage. Anyway, apart from that, as always, any questions or requests, do leave them in the comments section below. If I'm not uploading any videos, I'm always replying to you guys. I've been Joe Barlow. Thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.